Welcome to this edition of the B. Andrews Radio Show, coming to you from downtown high atop the Hambrock Hotel in Hancock, Wisconsin. It's... I thought it was just a tower. Uh, oh, had we decided that? No, you didn't say anything. Okay, high from the tower of the Hambrock Building in downtown Hancock, Wisconsin, it's the B. Andrews Radio Show! Yeah. All right, and your host for this edition of the B. Andrews Radio Show is I. It is me. It is the one and only Eric Hambrock. It is so good to come to you from central Wisconsin today. And on the other side of the room is one of the co-hosts, and that's Emily. Say hi, Emily. Hola. That was very anti-dramatic and coming anti-dramatic from, and coming from behind the producer stand which carries the mega computer and all the brains of our group is our producer and engineer k say hi k you know you keep changing from i'm one of your co-hosts to i'm the host and this is emily the co-host did i say like, host i didn't say co-host no you keep changing well oh, that was very that was very no, uh, what do you, what do you call just, it when it's uh, under under you know somewhere in the back of the recesses undercooked. of my brain? Yeah. <laughs> you talking about my brain? Yes. <laughs> Here, let's just put it back in the pan for a little bit. No, no nobody will know. It's better than me and overcooked. You're fried. You'll be sitting there going. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, it's very good uh, and uh, to to be on the radio today. I'm a little discombobulated. The weather <laughs> is absolutely awesome outside and we are recording today on this sixth day of september uh we're rolling right along moving towards fall we have approximately 19 days to go before the official first day of autumn comes around and it's just one of those days that i woke up my room was really nice and warm I walked out, and I wanted to go back in, get long fuzzy pants on, and two pairs of socks. I thought you said it was warm. Why in would you... In my room, it was warm, but when I walked out of my room, it wasn't. <laughs> well, we did get to a absolutely refreshing 49 degrees last night. Tonight, we're supposed to get down to an absolutely... Oh, I love this kind of weather. Um, absolutely thrilling 46 degrees tonight. So that's that's uh, that's what we're doing tonight. So wish you were in Wisconsin, probably where you're listening. It's like frying hot. So, um, <laughs> no, we're, nah. so we're we're nah. enjoying the weather that God has sent us here. Um, it's beautiful outside there. Is Nair a cloud in the sky? It is absolutely. <laughs> yeah, they put Nair on it. <laughs> Nair. It's abbreviation for never. Okay. Yeah, Nair. but you're like this Nair. It's traditional, this... Karen. Get over it. <laughs> or or it. It's That's what our, I said. Get over it. It's Get archaic. It. Get over it. Both of them. Are. I'm quoting. And yes, I quoted correctly. Okay. All right. Okay. But first of all, you said Nair. And I'm like, oh, what, did they just put Nair in the clouds and wipe it away? Hey, <laughs> God can do anything. Okay. So. Uh, I always we, thought we, as clouds as like the shaving cream of the sky. Yeah. 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 And so he wiped the shaving cream off and we're all better for it. Anyway. So today, uh, looking forward to next week. Um, next week is my anniversary week. And we normally take mm -hmm. that week of the year and we do some family stuff and looking forward to being in Door County next week. Going Door County? Door County. Next oh, don't week. you know? It is a beautiful place up there. Yeah, going. Go, you need to bring me back a cheese hat. I we are definitely going to Door County Coffee. Uh, going to stop in there and get some refreshment. <laughs> Looking mm -hmm. forward to that. And uh, after we stop in there, we're heading on up to Peninsula State Park, where we're going to pitch our tents. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, 
I'm very careful when I say that phrase. Yeah, now because all you can think of that's is what right, the other guy right. said. And, that's, and that's, that's the first thing that'll cause you to mess yeah, up. Yeah, but people don't know that That's story. fine. I'm not going to tell them either. <laughs> and um, uh, looking forward to that and going to do some serious chilling out by uh, – either on Lake Michigan or over on the Sturgeon Bay side. The peninsula sticks out in between the two and thoroughly looking forward to that. And an interesting side note on uh, what Door County coffee smells like is burnt chocolate because they roast their own coffee beans there. Yeah, uh, Not yeah. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Preliminary preliminary statement here. When you go to the Door County Coffee building where they actually import it and bring it in and roast it, that building smells like... Burnt chocolate. It smells pretty good to me. Well, I mean, you get over it, but still, it's just that <laughs> burnt smell. Hey, M, get over it, K. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway... So, um, uh, looking forward to that next week, uh, spending a little time in a hammock out by Sturgeon Bay with the gentle breezes blowing over me. I'm just, <laughs> I am just, what, they, you're laughing. They can be gentle, but when they aren't. That's true. They, they can be blustery. That is, that is true. And it feels like a rather blustery day today. <laughs> that was not rehearsed, okay. but that was almost perfect. And both of you are wearing purple tops. So what, what's this up with maroon. maroon? purple. Okay, you're both are wearing maroon tops. I Thank mean, the you. shades are pretty no, close. No, no, no. That is dark purple. My it is color. not purple. Anyway, what are All we right, going to be talking rusty, about today? That's a rusty rose, and that's a maroon. It's crescent rose. Oh, that's crimson. Okay, and that's, <laughs> and that's a dusty rose. Hers is purple. It's got to be purple. No. I see purple. It's not purple. Huh. This red cup up next to it. That's burgundy. That's okay. First of all, what are we actually talking about today? Oh, today we're going to talk about school because the kiddos shameless are, segue are all back to school. Yes, very shameless. I don't know. Do we get back to talking about the color of her top? Or no, what? it's, it's not purple. purple. <laughs> No, we want to talk about school and back to school and school issues. And by the way, just like I've been hearing on all the other radio stations that are broadcasted on the AM band. Hey, out there drivers, be careful. Remember, the kiddos are going back to school. Don't hit them. (laughs) This should be in school, (laughs) not on the street. Well, no. uh, Violence in the street. (laughs) Morning drive by, guys. That's what they say all the time. By the way, and we'll be dancing in the. (laughs) Yeah, somebody get those kids out of the street, would you? And no, seriously, one of the coolest things listening to AM radio here in Wisconsin, and um, the guy who was on the radio station for the first day of school. This this is funny. Check this out. So it's the first day of school. And he's on the radio. It's 7 a.m. He's getting ready to do, he's the news guy, so he's getting ready to do the 7 a.m. And he goes, welcome to W blah, 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 here in central Wisconsin. Remember, everybody, it's the first day of school, so watch out for all the kiddos. Joel and Christina, you had better not miss the bus this morning. All right. In other <laughs> news, and I was just like, oh, when your dad is the radio announcer. When your dad is the morning <laughs> host, he's like, I had to get up to come into work and you can't make it to school? <laughs> I was, I, I about fell over laughing. You were, all you were driving, Central, don't. Dad. Yeah, all of Central Wisconsin heard his kids get busted on the radio. That Ooh, was, that was. Busted. How much you want to bet like the, the bus driver turned on the radio and he's like, do we have a Joel and, and Christina? Christina on the bus? <laughs> hey, yeah. are there any other buses out there? Hey, yeah. can you check for a Joel and Christina? Yes, please. Thank you. Yes, uh, their dad just called them out on radio and Ooh. we had better not leave them home today. Yeah. So <laughs> that was that was that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So um, anyway, uh, you know, and going back to school, let me let me ask you guys this question. I've, I've never asked you this question before i i don't even know if you really know how to answer it because i I wouldn't know if you've ever formed an opinion on this so let me tell our audience a little bit about your educational background um uh, these gap was that a latent oh that's the word i was looking for latent uh was that a uh, was that a latent um um, what does latent have to do with anything latency no latent 
Not Leighton. Leighton is a Both dude. Both were slow. Leighton is a dude <laughs> that we know. Leighton is something else. What was, was the question you were going to um, ask us? The question I wanted to ask you, by the way, uh, these gals are homeschoolers. So I am only homeschooled question, right now. She's not. For you. Okay. And so the question is, did you ever think that you missed out on anything like... Um, Missed out on anything by not having the school bus experience. Not from the school bus. No, um, let's just start with that. I'll get to other experiences. But did you ever feel like you missed out on anything by not having the school bus experience? So let me start with that one. Because other people might have because if I'm prone to getting annoyed or, you know, in the movies when they over exaggerate like bullies or something on the bus. I can guarantee you if anybody was acting like that around me, especially when I was younger, I would have had no problem getting up and decking them. So that's one of them to the ground. That's one of the reasons why I'm (laughs) glad I was homeschooled, because I feel like I would have been the one child to get in trouble for like, yes, a lot of stuff coming home. Yes, you would have. Yes, I, I can see that totally. And so, like, and I'm not being sarcastic. No, I'm actually, being very honest. Here. Yes, yes. yes because yes, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's anybody acting out or being mean or anything like I injustice in, injustice like I would have like right. stood up and if I hadn't punched him I would have definitely tried to yell or talk him down or kicked him or something because I would have been like shut up and sit down I don't care yeah and usually you would be the one getting busted because the driver would be looking up going oh there's that girl she's up again you know not realizing that you're actually like being his bus monitor <laughs> right <laughs> And so forth. Kate, uh, turn the bus around. I dare you. We have a schedule to keep. I dare you to turn the bus around. All right, Kate, I haven't heard you say anything yet. A few gulps of air. I've I've heard that go in, but you know, (laughs) it hasn't come out. It's, 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 uh, (laughs) you know, you kind of look like a little guppy in its little fishbowl. No, (laughs) no, out of its fishbowl. Oh, (gasps) no, they do that. They do that in the fishbowl too. So anyway. Come, get <laughs> airspace. That is not cool on radio. No, I passed Emily, it to you. Go on. Emily was talking already, so I, I, I was, stopped. You just asked you a direct question. I did. Anywho, uh, I've ridden on a bus, and I really don't like it. And it, w- it was a camp experience because we got carried back and forth from different places. And honestly, I all the violence that I've heard on buses... From the kids in our local, local technical local school, is uh, it is our local school. It's just not technical. <laughs> well, it's a town away. Since we used to have our own school, it wouldn't have been the local school. Her point is, is it's not the Hancock School. It's over in Plainfield. And anyway, uh, I've heard tales of violence, and personally. Other than video games, I really can't stand it, and I, I probably would have been the one kid with the hood up and just okay. Cu- wait a minute, cu- curling I'm in lost. my own. We would have here. Space. We would have been. No, no. Where's the video games come in at? Uh, violence. She, she can't handle violence unless it's in video oh, games. Oh, like violence. I'm like other than viol- uh, other than bus rides on video games, and I'm thinking, what <laughs> video game has a bus ride? <laughs> the Incredibles, Super- actually. <laughs> no, you're oh, not riding uh, on the bus. You're chasing the bus. That's an RV. <laughs> no. no, it's not. Really? No, yeah, in the, the game. Incredibles, the video game, in game Dash is late for school. So he has to peel off after the bus, and he's chasing the bus, and you, and you have to keep yourself from being run over by cars. <laughs> and oh, you wow. don't actually get run over. You just get hit, and everything freezes, and you just bounce up, and then you land on your butt, and you're like, oh, man, I'm late for school. Uh-huh, like, oh, uh-huh, okay. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> so you, you don't feel that you've missed out on the bus? No, I feel, I feel like I would be the kid with my hood up, and I'd be crowded in my own corner because I would feel I, – I, I'd be very uncomfortable. Just – so Ignore it would be me. the Ign- opposite. I would be the mad one to stand up, and she'd be like the little like leave, L- like just little stop girl, it, like I- ignore <laughs> me. I'm I'm hiding here. Don't don't lift up my hood. Kind y- of yeah. Thing. Okay. All right. All right. I, I get that. Use the hood, Kay. <laughs> Use the hood. You feel like you were smoking, and you're trying to do an impression of a granny, but you're just <laughs> really airy. Okay. Smoking? I'll do an impression. I'll do an impression smoking? of a goat granny. Smoking? Use Coming. the hood. Okay, use the hood. Okay, Granny Goat. Uh, that's what I said. <laughs> use the hood, Reed. All right. Well, this uh, 
Uh, and now that we've gotten one thing out of the way, it seems like it'd be a, a good place to uh, pull up and take a break. So we're going to do that. Let me He's remind a you. Big kid now. Let me remind you to connect with us on Facebook when you can, and uh, we will see you there. I'm going to go get a a refill and um, and uh, a change. Yeah, actually, <laughs> and I'm telling you, and uh, you do the same, and we'll be right back. As we join our corpulent crime fighters, they've just arrived at the Wigglesworth Weight Loss Workout World LLC where the dimple duo finds the dubious double doors deadbolted. Goldilocks, Fat Man! How are we gonna get in? Fat Man reaches for a tool on his utensil belt. Let's see. That one's too big. This one's too small. There. That one's just right. Taking out a corkscrew, Fat Man inserts it into the lock, jiggles the corkscrew, and the immense entrance swings open. Leaping lookouts, Fat Man! It worked! Yes, Bobbin, corkscrews can open more than just bottles. Upon entering Wigglesworth Weight Loss Workout World, Fat Man and Bobbin are greeted by their happy host. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. I am so glad you could join me at this most inopportune time. I do hope emphatically that we can make the most of it. Careful, Bobbin. There's something phonetically familiar about the wonky Mr. Wigglesworth. I can't put my fat finger on it, but it seems we have met before. Right you are, fat man. And you walked right into my trap. <laughs> Just then, the wacky Mr. Wigglesworth rips off his disguise, revealing the ridiculous red suit of... The Sanguine. <laughs> I love a good fight. Get him, boy. Upon the Sanguine's command, five unanticipated Adonises shoot out from the shadows to precariously pounce on our hermetic heroes. Batman and Bobbin respond to the thespian threat by flailing into a fighting frenzy. You can hear the action. Sock. Blam. Kapow. Before it's whack. Bobbin, what was that? Sorry, I knocked over a trash can. Due to the pregnant pause opining the onomatopoeia, the physical five descend upon the doubled duo. Will the sanctimonious sanguine get away with his corpulent crime? Join us next time when we hear Bobbin say... Rollicking Richard Simmons, fat man! We're surrounded! Yes, and you're going to get that workout you so desperately need. Welcome back to the second segment of the B. Andrews Radio Show, where I am working in the studio in order to um, accomplish a comfortability in my own studio. He's um, killing the fan that's behind him, which we have to lean over. Otherwise, it makes this really bad noise. <laughs> I am tired it screeches of in terror. I am tired of sweating in my own studio. This is <laughs> this, this is, is not your studio. It's yes, excuse it me. Excuse me. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? B. Andrews ain't Phyllis? one man. No. What you talking about, Phyllis? Well, well. Oh, Instead of Willis, I am now Phyllis, okay. which is true. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we're talking about back to school. So uh, we we want to get to uh, the thing that should have happened about two to three weeks ago. Back that, in the saddle again. So that's the back to school shopping and making sure that the kiddos have the necessary school supplies in order to accomplish first day of school appropriately the only back to school shopping we ever did for us in homeschool was when mom went out and bought our workbooks that's like it well yeah that's back well it's not just your workbook that's that your actual curriculum yeah and so yes that was back to school shopping I, that was the only <laughs> thing we ever that's, got that's out of true. that season that's not true there were actually other things that we did but that not all pencils and erasers came in through second harvest and we never went through them by the time we not were done. always not always not always yeah uh actually mom for she went out and found a bunch of on sale stuff 
I think, I don't remember where it was, but she came back in and she had, you know those clicky pencils that are actually called mechanical pencils that it's like just everybody call just calls actually, them clicky pencils? Actually, they're mechanical pencils. I know, but everybody call, That's calls what she them. said. They're called mechanical pencils, but, but we just call them clicky, clicky pencils. pencils. Anybody's like, hey, can I borrow that clicky pencil? Oh, yeah, here you go. I, we eat, we eat. <laughs> that's we eat, we eat, not clicky. I know. Click, that's because they clicky. squeak when you write with them. The yeah, plastic the, ones do, anyway. Anyway, um, mom comes They're home one day, and she literally comes up, and she has three whole little boxes of about 50 of them. And I just have what? random three of them. I have, if you want to borrow, like, any kind of mechanical <laughs> pencil. Okay, first of all, the only time mom went out and bought me school supplies, like, bought. They, they didn't come in. But it was when I took my ACT and she bought me a case of already sharp, pre-sharpened Ticonderoga pencils. Ooh, we're brand name there. Wow. I know. They're the ones you stole and left in here to write on your little notepad. I did not steal them. This says Di- Dixon Ticonderoga. <laughs> Say that five times real fast. Dixon Ticonderoga. No, 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 and then I also have my little favorite, because yes, you can say this about me. I am still a little child. I love Hello Kitty. A little child. She's 16. I am not 16. She will be you. 16. Do you, know, yeah. do you know we have a frog and a dog on the floor? Yeah. Yes. One's, one's finally, alive. You got one it right. <laughs> you finally got it right. Well, I had to think about that, because I'm like, <laughs> is that a turtle or a frog? <laughs> not, a, not a turtle. <laughs> okay. Um... So, yeah, so we hope that the kids got their their school supplies and um, not really sure. It's really weird. Our I don't know if the Walmart does this where you are, but the Walmarts where we are totally take about two or three nights just before uh, two weeks before school opens up. They shut down the store and the whole front of the stores, they just totally restock it with all school supplies. And then our local schools actually send them lists for what is required and so you go to the front desk uh when of our walmart and you go oh i am from such and such school district and they will produce you a list of what the school says this is what your child needs to go to school and then you can go around and shop for it they do that here that you were homeschoolers you were never a part of that but no but that seems very 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 strict and controlling you know how many parents love it because they're like, oh, back to school. Oh, I got to get your stuff. I, what do you need? Kids are like, oh, no. So you walk into Walmart and they go, hey, um, we're from the school district. And Walmart goes, whoosh, tears off a sheet of paper that's already pre-printed and goes, this is what your school district recommends that you need to buy. And then you have yeah, a shopping list. But there are list. some things that you know your kid may not ever use. Or some things you're like, well, maybe you need this. Here, take it with you. Uh, that's up to you. Those are called optional things. So anyway, that's uh, that's one of the things that our particular Walmart does. I don't know if that's done at all the Walmarts across the country, but... Uh, it's practiced pretty heavy here. And then of course, you know, the typical two pairs of jeans, new pair of jimmies, you know, that kind of thing. Parents pick those up too. So, uh, that's the back to school thing. I, what was your, what is your favorite school supply? I mean, you know, it was the thing that you like to write on. Now you probably don't remember this. No, no, you, I doubt that you would. But you probably do remember when we did our school and every year I would order the um, the school calendar uh, and um, thing that you could write, planner, so that you could write your homework assignments in. There are still in. some from like 2008 those in little the drawer. Cards? No, 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 no. No, it was the, like the a it was booklets. like a book. Was, yeah, and then you opened oh, yeah, it up those. and you wrote your name and your teacher's names in it. And yeah. then you wrote your subjects and everything. I have one in and, my room. Oh. It's from the wrong year because they're all super old, yeah, like you over wouldn't. a decade old. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, man, that's right. Oh, my goodness. It's 2018. 2018 and those, we've those been, are from between 20, 2006 and 2008. Our school has been shut down for a decade now. 
Yes. Uh, at least, uh, yeah, this year would have been a decade. Oh, man, I feel so old. You are you old. You are old. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, like, there are, this year, kids that I taught when we had our school that has their children that are starting kindergarten this year. Yeah, uh, I have one that was in school. I know one that was in school that actually has a couple in like fourth and fifth grade that that you taught. Who did I teach that has a kid in the fourth or fifth game? Who? Go ahead and say the name. Lipkey. Oh, they've got one in fifth grade? She's like, her oldest is like 12 or 13. So she'll be like between fourth and fifth grade, wouldn't she? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I am so old. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, well. Moving hey, right along. Moving right along. <laughs> so, um, you know, and, and so we did have a school at the church at one time, and uh, we spread ourselves around quite thin. Thank goodness I had a college professor that took over the <laughs> English department for me. And, I mean, she did all English, elementary to high school. And uh, that's because she was technically a college professor. <laughs> yeah, she had better have all those areas down. <laughs> By the way, she also had a degree in special ed. So um, or a certificate in special ed. So, yeah, she could do that. Um, and it was great having her because it was like, OK, English, that'll be your department. I had to pick up math and social studies and science. Those were my departments. Um and I always ended up getting saddled with math, whether I, I liked it or not, because nobody else wanted to take that. I could find other people to come in to take social studies, history, American history, and those courses. We didn't do as much American history as we did all biblical history. Um, no, there's a solid American history course that you guys I did. never took it. Uh, yeah, you did. Because I have your grades on computer. You may not remember it, but you took wow, it. Wow, I don't at all. ACE, right? <laughs> huh? ACE, right? Yeah, she did hers yeah, ACE. Yeah, I remember it. I took it. Well, good thing you remember your course on it, because I don't at all. It's what helped me in the college class that I took, the seminars off of Hillsdale. And it's like, here, take this. All I remember is Schoolhouse many, Rock. Like, <laughs> ten, epi- ten episodes of. Which is accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's very accurate. You know, I was watching the Senate Judiciary Committee the other day. Not, I don't want to get political here, but in the Senate Judiciary Committee, I was watching it. And as I was, this, this one of the senators started lecturing the whole rest of the group and said, we need to get back to basics. Let's go back to Schoolhouse Rock. Ah! And I was like, oh, I know what he's talking about. So, uh, well, I when, thought, you, I well, when your pretty... school system's from the 70s and Schoolhouse Rock is from the 70s, 80s, thank you very much. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so we do have a list here. Uh, somebody put out on there the different subjects on it's called the top tens. Somebody put out there and then listed a bunch of different subjects, and there's actually quite a few of them. Uh, you could, you could trim down quite a lot, especially <laughs> if you cut out all of well, the When languages. you're as fat as I am, you can <laughs> I was trim down say, so can Buddha. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Oh, Mr. Carter. <laughs> anyway. anyway. <laughs> Anywho, boom, 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 uh, boom, if you trim boom, out boom, all of boom. the languages, which can be optional in some schools, but it's ma- now mandatory for Spanish, at least. Uh, there, it would cut down a lot, but we're going to start at number 15, which is so, all rated. So top 10 favorite? Uh, uh, what pe- what people like, yeah. Well, no, top 10 most important. So it's people oh, coming oh, on and voting on it. Uh, and rating it most important. Is this high school, college? What are these courses? I think it's uh, high school. Okay, so top 15 most important high school Classes? courses. Classes or courses? Well, class course. Same thing. I got another question for you before you go uh, to, to make sure that what we're talking about before we get into this. And who voted? Is the kids do this or is this uh, the parents or is this like General. after they graduated looking back? Adults? It's, it's just whoever came on site and in, in, in general found it. Okay. So so very, it could be teachers, parents, so, and students. So it's a very, very unscientific poll. Okay. Very All right. Here we go. But it is a poll. Here we go. Number 15. Music. 
Whoa. Music's all the way at the end? Whoa, that should be way higher than that. I mean, <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect it to be in the top five, but I, w- I didn't expect it to be like dead last either. No, that's not. Number 14. Computer science. Wow. I, w- wow, I would expect that to be a lot higher. But that's then again, I guess, be... well, kids are kids are used to dealing with, you know, all sorts of computers from a really young age now. So they don't necessarily need to be taught. Oh, yeah. Appropriate and how to even do more than just manipulate software. Except people are like, well, they can work it better than me. What am I going to teach them? So actually, it's the mentality on it. It's not necessarily something there. We are in a time period where just by natural attrition, the younger ones are actually more versed in the technology than the ones who are supposed to be teaching it. And the person on here who wrote a little bit about the sciences, yes, he agrees it should be higher and more like the top five. It should because nowadays you can't do other schoolwork without having some computer work behind you. Yeah. Number 13. Art. That should have been dead last. I know. (laughs) I mean, that's literally completely... That shouldn't have even been on the list. That's completely... That's not necessarily a school... Like... One you need, unless it's your passion, unless it's what you are like, what you want to do with your life. And there's so much outside of school offered for people who want to do art. So if you're really artsy and you really want to be good at it, you really don't want to do it through school. You want to do it outside of, of school, school or a specialty. C- yeah, right, school. Right, right. I right. mean, even music. Sometimes you need to learn a few things just to know, like things about a song or things about. Oh, trust me. Doing the band work, I we did we learned more outside of what I ever was taught in school than most people are ever taught. But anyway, all right, number twelve, economics. That should have been way higher. Yeah, you know, having, you know, you know, we're having new, a real problem with that in society. I right know, now. you <laughs> know what, you know what the new meme going around is. You know what the new meme, aka popular joke, is go is ahead, I ahead. can't adult. Or, I finally learned how to pay my taxes. I adulted. People don't know how to do things like that. People don't know how to do W-2 forms. People don't know how to. There's, someone's like, yo, y'all, I learned something really important. Every time you start a new job and you finish it, write down the day. Write down the time. Write down your boss's name. Write down the name of the facility. It's phone number. It's address. You need that when you write down other forms. And I'm like, yes, you do. Why don't you know that? <laughs> Someone's wow. like, this will save a life. This is how you adult. And I'm like, nobody taught you that, did they? Wow. And y- you know, well, my personal finance class, that's. I never took it. I, I know. I took I, somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, you didn't take mine. So anyway, but I did. I For my high school seniors in a math class, I had a whole class that was just that. They had to be able to fill out an application. They had to be able to. Um, pay their taxes, how to know how to fill out a W-2. I Um, wish. Mine was less informative. It it taught me about how the economy works. It did not teach me how to. Well, that's economics. This was called personal finance. Um, They had to... um, they had to be able to keep a checkbook, uh, and, right. you know, how to do a food budget, how to do a household budget, you know, that kind of stuff. So uh, that was that was my uh, my class. All right. Here we go. Number 11. Physical education. Shouldn't have made the list. <laughs> well, with some kids, do you really? with some kids, do you it is necessary. Do Not you? all, but some. I think it should have been farther down the list, but. Oh. I wouldn't have even thought it would have made the list. Is recess and lunch on there, too? No. <laughs> I wish. Lunch is a very important course. Health is all the way at 23. Yeah, it's the second course of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Anyway, number 10. Social studies. Ha. Huh. It depends on how you define social studies. If it's you're pretty look- broad. If you're looking at it for social science or if you're looking at it from history... History needs to be way higher. If it's just um, social sciences, then nah, I don't know, maybe a little lower. Social sciences seems to be people who are just peeved about the world. Than well, it really is. Well, social about. sciences will give you an idea how society runs and works. Yeah, but there were times that we <laughs> that did, seems to create a lot. We of, did. Yeah, a lot we of did like, social studies. 
and did a lot of history and social studies, and then we'd break off and, and do other stuff. But so it depends how, on which side But studying you're how society about. works seems to create a lot of, what, what do I call, call them? Uh, they're not optimists. They're pessimists. <laughs> a lot of wow, cranky, that was cranky pessimists. Extreme to opposite. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it, it's, you know, the sociology approach is, is terrible. Number nine. Let's see. Number nine is algebra. Oh, that should be way higher. No, it shouldn't. Because oh, all should you be... need is elementary math in order to figure out things. Oh, that Seriously. should be so much higher. No, you don't. Unless you're getting a degree in science where you need to use math or you're becoming a mathematician or, or, or something else. You do not need it. Um, you do not need it. Well, this is, this is a good place. <laughs> okay, one last thing. Uh, somebody wrote on here, algebra, useless. Hashtag, don't waste to die too fan. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a good place for us to take a break. Go get a refill on your drink of choice and come on back. We're going to finish talking about the courses that are important to our high schoolers. If you'd like to hear more of the B. Andrews radio show, visit us at our YouTube channel at B. Andrews Band. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear more from us and to stay updated, hit the bell. Remember, at YouTube at B. Andrews Band. You're listening to the HBC, the Hambone Broadcasting Corporation. Welcome back to the third segment of the B. Andrews Radio Show, where we're talking about the back-to-school kind of stuff. We, we went from the bus, we went to the uh, back-to-school uh, shopping for the kids and Did getting their supplies. Did we do it that supplies. backwards? Yeah, kind of. We should, we should have, have gone shopping, shopping, then we should have been to the bus, we and now we're on to the classes. Now we're talking about the classes. We're going down a pole talking about how... <laughs> We're I cannot believe you had to laugh. It would it would have sounded so bad if you hadn't a laugh there. Hey, that's my job. We, I'm the poll worker. We, yeah, we, oh. actually, we're going up the poll. Oh. <laughs> Moving right along, we we're are reading the poll. We are considering <laughs> a poll that has been given of the top fifteen Who's the courses. Poll? Why is the poll? Okay, you can stop now. The top fifteen. Courses and they have been rated by their importance. Um, so uh, these are important. Although I do want to say one thing, I, I wanted to talk about last time when we were talking about the social studies and and social studies is is broken off into two categories for kids and and one is where they do the history and social studies and number two they do the the uh, sociology type of things in social studies and and they kind of combine the two and they call it social studies. The sociology part is kind of like yeah. Take it or leave it. Meaner, meaner. But the one thing we need to remember is this old saying, those who do not learn from the past Hard are doomed to, to repeat, repeat it. it. And that's where the history part of it is very, very, very Im important. And then in social studies later, matter of fact, they, they get rid of the social studies term in high school and they, they call it um, um, government government. And so you end up having to learn about government or some courses call it civics that way. So that way you learn how does our government operate. And uh, a lot of schools have actually cut out doing civics anymore uh, and not teach how the government actually works. And it shows up because there are a lot of people that do not know how the U.S. federal government actually works You mean there's a lot more operates. people complaining because they don't understand what's going on? Um, Pretty much. Because um, they're like, why can't they just do this? And you're like, because they can't. They, they can't. That's not right, how it works. Right, right, right. That's, that's not how this works. That's not how any, any of, of this works. works. All right. So back to the, the poll. Back <laughs> to the poll. Here we go. Back to the poll. Number eight. Biology. Bi Bi biology. Biology. Um, <laughs> Which I, I actually just started biology. I hated it. I would have thought oh, that well, was... Not, actually, it's not so bad. It was... I had a intro to chemistry and a small course of botany in the middle of my biology book. And the biology was fine. I was okay with that. It was the chemistry and the botany I hated with I, a passion. I am so looking forward to going through it. And I'm already going through my physical science, so Good for I'm, you. I'm loving it. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I love... I loved chemistry, and then no. I thought at one time I, I might end up being a doctor. But I, I always wanted to be the mad scientist in a lab. You got the I, hair for it now. 
Okay, what's that supposed to mean? It's huh? shiny. What's, what what is that supposed to mean? Ooh, it's shiny. Uh huh. All right. All right, number seven. And white. Number seven is chemistry. Yeah. Mm. Um, actually, that course should be a little, eh, maybe that's about right. But there are things well, you don't that, really need chemistry for everyday life. Uh, there are things that I use in chemistry in everyday life, just like there are things I use in algebra in everyday life. Well, that's you. Oh. You overcomplicate oh. things unnecessarily. Oh, I, I do not. Anyway, um, <laughs> overcomplicate things. All right. Number six. Physics. Physics is higher than chemistry and biology? <laughs> although, and although, in physical science, I'm about to take uh, the physics of momentum. There are things I actually use in physics uh, when I do engineering. I actually use geometry. You know what day. I use? You know what I use? Common sense. <laughs> <sighs> Number five. Geography. That's important, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. So, Danny, you did tell your mom where we were going, right? Yeah, like uh, I said, Ohio. Danny. Danny. We're going to Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> they are nowhere. Well, they're kind of like in the same area, right? No. No. <laughs> You remember that conversation? There's like a state between. I think I, I, I think I yelled at them. There's like a state between them. I I literally heard this conversation from mom over the phone with dad, and I'm like, Danny, are you serious? Even I know the difference, and I haven't even Ooh. taken to geography. All right, number four. History. Ah, they separated it. Okay, cool. History is very important, especially because of the statement that we made. Those who do not learn from the past are doomed to repeat it. And yeah. uh, that's the way that we keep Man, all these history books just keep saying the same thing over and over and over. And I'm like, well, you know, the if earth has born a lot it. of idiots. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, if they would read the, the history book, they wouldn't have to write another one. Well, history has repeated itself. We didn't just have one world war. We had two. two. <laughs> and Technically, only two were in, or you know, called world wars. Because yeah. I mean, we've had more than yeah. two really bad conflicts. Yeah. Anyway, number three. Science. That is very general. Science. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. We follow the claw. <laughs> The claw will lead us. The claw is chosen. Um, nope. You use science in, in all kinds of things. Like, oh, and I um, won't begrudge. Do not put chlorine and ammonia together. <laughs> do not throw sugar in bubbly drinks. Karen. <laughs> it's the carbonation, which what is Which the, what reacted is which reacted it's with the, the sugar. It was kind of funny. It caused it to like explode. And nice. I was trying to prep chicken. And it exploded all over my chicken. No, it didn't. It exploded over the counter. I threw my hand over it, and I was getting ready to shove it in the sink where your chicken was. Huh. So no. you grabbed Ch it out. Your chicken was safe. I nice yelled better. comeback, Joanne. Anyway. I yelled better. I was like, not my chicken. <laughs> yeah, it was That really was the weird. anecdote of the story. <laughs> Pretty Number much. Number two. English. Yeah? If you can't communicate... You can't. If you can't do string anything. together a proper paragraph, then how am I to know what you're talking about? Exactly. Wow. And when people don't know how to properly speak or type or even spell, it gets on my nerves so bad. They don't know how to properly like put pronunciation and like commas and apostrophes. Sometimes they don't even know the difference. They're like, "Oh, what's that apostrophe?" But it's like on the ground. I'm like, what? That's a you know, com it's, it's a like, comma. It's, I'm like, that's a comma. Well, and, this and, should be like the and one not, not only does know. that so work, common. and not only does that work in written, yeah. but it, in what we're doing right here in oral uh, communication, because you, you to be able to express a complete thought, you, you know, subject and noun, got to have that per sentence. If you don't have a subject of a sentence, then how do people know what you're talking about? Well, it, <laughs> ever heard the phrase next time lead with that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that pretty much it. Um, so, I mean, it 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 even happens uh, when we do this. I could jump into saying something, and one of you may have to look back at me and go, "Like, what are you talking, talking about? about? What is the subject here?" Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what we're talking about. No, Mr. Um, Morton is subject of the sentence. 
and what, what the predicate, predicate says, says he does he does okay um you don't know mr morton no it's just that says he does he does oh. i'm pretty sure that song did not have an the day echo it was hot the sun beat or oh, the cat stretched the neighbor chased his kid. Hey, hey come back, back here, kid. kid. Come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I remember it's a school, that. It's a schoolhouse rock. I, I know. All right, here we go, everybody. Drum roll. Um, Number one. Math. math. I no. Heard, I heard. Math is Basic just, math, yes. Yeah. But. So <laughs> basically, and I get this, number one and two, it should be English number one, math number two, because both of them is just communication. English is communication with words. Math is communication with numbers. And we have which to Which leads able... us right back to computers. Yeah. We, and, and now we have to do that on computers, which is why you need to know. So computers should have been number three. Yeah. yeah. So Because people just assume they know what they're doing and they don't. You know how many people that come into the library at my job that I have to teach how to use the computers? Adults and children alike. I have to tell them, don't do that. You can't do that. If you do that, that's that's not... That's not how you use the computer. If you do that's that, it's good. Works. That's not how this works. That's <laughs> not how any of this works. If you do that again, it's going to cause the computer to crash. <laughs> and we actually had a kid come in trying to get into the computer, was pretending to be on the computer, trying to put in like the password and stuff. I don't know what combination of buttons he pressed, but he crashed the computer and I got the weirdest screen. And I was like, lady, come pick up your kid. Because yeah. she was like sitting right there. Yeah. That's when you need Barry to come down. I need you. <laughs> yeah. So basically, and, and this is something that I tried to communicate back when I was running a school, principal, teacher, uh, academic advisor, all that kind of stuff, um, because we were a very small school, so I wore a lot of hats in it. But the bottom line, um, preliminary and secondary education is basically this. All the skills that we teach you, uh, are boiled down to being able to communicate in your world. You go to college in order to advance those still skills to communicate about a or very narrow them down to what well, you want to do to, to communicate about a very specific thing. But everything in for pri- in preliminary, secondary uh, education is about how to communicate, how to communicate orally, how to communicate. Uh, written and how to communicate with numbers. Now, here's the and other then thing, the though. Communication methods just get more complicated when you get more tools. That's all. Yes, but now that they're messing with what we teach and how we teach it, it is messing up the next generations. Well, it, just take text messages for instance. It is acceptable to use "you are." People don't write "y o u a r e." They write the letter "u," the letter "r." Okay. Yes. Um, they don't punctuate. They don't capitalize. They they don't quote correctly. Um, you have all this kinds of stuff going on, and I'm thinking, is this how educated? I, I intentionally, when I do a text, punctuate and write correctly because I, I do refuse. too. Unless I want it to be read that way, like with the "Hey, dare" or something like that. Like I'm doing like a phonetic okay, that's, sounding that's stuff. That's called regionalism, but right? Okay. I will do that. But other than that, my my things are punctuated with periods at the end of all of my yep. sentences, yep. ellipsis marks for wait for it. I got a joke coming. Everything. It's completely punctuated, capitalized, everything. All right. Well, this wraps up this segment of the B. Andrews Radio Show. Coming up in the next segment is going to be a little good news. And just to let you know, I got to fly. And so I am turning the rest of the show over to Capable Hands. Okay, sure. And (laughs) there... And Emily and Kay are going to wrap up the show for you. So go get you something to drink. Come on back and... um, um, I'll have a little good news. And Emily will have a little good news. Well, you know, it's time for a little good news. And let the sun shine through for me and you with some good news. Today's good news story comes from a play, from a website called Sunny Skies. Deputies save deputies save baby found not breathing during a traffic stop, August thirty first in twenty eighteen. Two sheriff's deputies in Lakewood, California, were being hailed as heroes for rescuing a nine month old boy who was found not breathing during a traffic stop. According to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, 
Deputy Tyler Milton saw a vehicle driving erratically on Lakewood Boulevard at about 10.20 p.m. on Monday evening. Milton conducted a traffic stop of the vehicle, and the driver quickly exited the car holding a nine-month-old baby boy. The deputy quickly assessed the baby and determined he was unresponsive and not breathing. He put out a radio call for help, and Deputy Alyssa Farrington arrived at the scene within seconds. Milton began administering CPR as Farrington drove to Long Beach Memorial Hospital. During the transportation, the deputy was able to resuscitate the infant prior to arriving to the hospital. Dramatic news video from outside the emergency room's entrance shows at least seven patrol vehicles pulling up with their lights and sirens activated, while a deputy is seen exiting one of the cars and rushing into the building with the child in his arms. The infant is listed as stable, and there was no evidence of foul play. So what it sounds like is like allergic reaction or maybe like poor health on the child's part somewhere and for something that happened in the vehicle. And the dude driving erratically was probably freaking out over it. Because he's like, I just need to get this child to like, the Like, hospital. I need to be able to do something. I need to be able to do something. Well, we don't know if they were on the way to the hospital or if he was just freaking out. Because whether or not he made a decision to go... Or whether or not he was, his brain was stalling because he was, af- like, afraid. Because that happens when adrenaline hits you sometimes. Your fight or flight just kind of goes off and you're, like, some people, <laughs> some people just go, whoa, and, like, don't know what to do. But they're, like, running. And then other people are, like, boom, I got to get this done. This is exactly what I need to do and stuff. Which is how my oldest brother and dad are. And I am most of the time. And then you have the people that s- stall and don't know what to do because they're so nervous. Which is mom and then my second brother, Ben. They're that they're that way a lot. And uh, thank God that the police was there and made the traffic stop. To Anne have that had happen. the Anne was able to do CPR on an infant, which is a different course in and of itself because you can't do full blown CPR. Months. Yeah, well, you can't do full blown CPR on an infant that small. Yeah, so it's it's a specialty kind of one where you have to learn how to. I, it, I forget because I've seen just, it happen, but it's it's just that it's difficult. It, it's praise the Lord that happened. It's just astonishing but um there's not much to talk about anymore um it's it's a great it's really great to hear good news it is and it's a great day today if you guys want to head outside and especially after school if you want to do something with your kids go take a walk or something it's a wonderful day out today at least in our area i know it is <laughs> yeah so with all the flooding that's been happening shh quiet this has been <laughs> awkward now that dad isn't here but Thank you for listening to the B. Andrews Radio Show. I hope you've enjoyed our discussion today. I will be doing an outro (laughs) my way, which means I will be saying so long until next time. I hope you enjoyed listening to it today and have a good day. Yeah, man. I got you be feeling that. Uh, It's got a great crew going on. Ha ha ha! Stop it feeling good! Stop it feeling really good!